Hello everyone. Today's video is to talk to you about that pin right here. It is a firing pin roll pin. It holds the firing pin from going too much forward or to come out of the slide. And the CZ75 roll pin has a little history. So I'm going to pull this one out and tell you what I'm talking about. All right, now here <coughs> is an aftermarket roll pin. Why? It's because we have this issue with the CZ75 roll pin after 300 rounds. Totally deformed. Well, let me show you the right way. There you go. And I think CZ was aware of it and what they did to correct this was to put a pin inside a pin. Well, it did not help. That is after 300 rounds. So you have a couple of choices. You can go to Cajun Gunworks and get another pin. They run about five bucks. And this one here, slightly more, it's a very good pin, uh, probably thousand rounds. Or you have option C, is this one here. You can get, you can get a bag of 100 for about 12 bucks. I will give you the link. Now those pins are a little bit wider and a little bit shorter, but nothing that affects the gun. This one came out of my handgun. So you have to be aware of those issues. Uh, once you fire about 500 rounds after getting your new handgun, I suggest you pull uh, your C75 pin out to see if it is damaged. And of course, if you want something made for it, you go to Cajun Gun Work and uh, buy a pin. As I say, about five bucks a pop, you can get uh, two or three just because those pins, those roll pins are consumable. Or you can go the other way as well is which way, uh, well this one, the shorter one, or buy a bag of 100 and never have to buy any more of those. And those uh, bag of 100 is about 12 bucks. Okay, uh, while we're there, I'm going to show you how to use your third hand. Yep, because you only have two hands and to put back that pin, you need a third hand. And so I'm going to give you a little trick. A number of you guys know how it works, but not everybody. Okay, so when you, once you want to put the pin back, you have to put the notch up this way. And while you need to hold that pin in to put the roll pin in there, it's, it's not easy. Okay, so you have plan B, which is to put back your gun together and use the hammer as a third hand. Let me explain to you. Okay, so we have the pin, notches up, you can even put them slightly in an angle because when the pin comes in it will, it will realign the firing pin. All right, but do not put it this way or upside down. So you want the notch up and to hold that firing pin, you use the hammer. And to double check, you look through the hole here, if I can do that with my camera. There we go, something like this. I don't see any firing pin in it. So now I'm ready to put my pin back. I have to find the right one. Okay, it's this one here. And the way to put back the firing pin is probably the best having the slice up. You can also put it forward. It won't do anything as the firing pin hit the bottom of the pin. But if you put it up, you will not have any issue whatsoever. So.
and because that pin is slightly shorter, really only slightly, you want to have it in just a bit more than the OEM. And uh, just a little bit. And there it is in. And last time I play with my gun, I kind of damage here the slide a little bit and the pin you can sit on the other side coming out and to double check if everything has been done correctly take back everything and I'm going to push the pin and it needs to show up on the other side and it does so everything is good and you can see I don't have my block I don't use my block um, I'm not worried about that. But anyway, hopefully this helped. And remember the roll pins on the handgun are consumable, so buy a bunch because you will need to replace them on a regular basis. So until next time, see you guys.